Right, our next speaker, Sabrina Rashid. That's great. Thank you very much. Um, while Sabrina's coming up, I'd like to introduce her. Sabrina's an associate specialist at the International Centre for Diarrheal Disease and Research in Bangladesh. Um, she has a PhD in maternal and child nutrition, and her work includes health systems research, nutrition, and information communication technology. There's lots of long words this morning, so, and lots of acronyms for us to navigate. She currently coordinates the ICT for Health and Centre for Equity and Health Systems, um, and works extensively in development, delivery, evaluation, and interventions that use ICT. And um, Sabrina's going to be talking to us about can mobile phones be used to increase efficiency of registration of vital events? Thank you very much. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm happy to be here today and, uh, and privileged to be invited to speak in front of this audience. Um, I'm part of a group that's working, that's looking at different ways technology can help us to, uh, to deliver programs and do research in a way that's efficient. And uh, so this is one of, uh, I'm, I'm part of this group. And where we have, um, in ICDRB, we run some large um, DHSs, uh, health and demographic surveillance systems. And uh, this is basically our, um, t our way of seeing how we can use mobile phones as a way to collect uh, uh, vital registrations uh, for DHSs and see whether that really can be done at a quality and can, do, do we actually save anything. So I'm going to talk about that specific um, study. I'm representing a large group of people. Some of them are mentioned here and some of them are not. So health and demographic surveillance systems are a very important source of data. We all know uh, people who are doing research know this. It provides a reliable platform for population and health research. It is a useful tool for studying social change and dynamic behavior and provides researchers and policymakers with information to guide decision making. However, DHSs that we love are costly. And many cases, donors are interested in uh, funding research, but not research infrastructure, which DHS is. So there's a constant struggle for people who are maintaining these DHSs and using them for research purposes uh, to find ways of funding them, making them more efficient so funding is not such an issue. And while we are struggling with DHSs, what has happened in the context of Bangladesh is the mobile phones. So mobile phone network now covers about 98% of Bangladesh. We have 160 million mobile phone subscribers. 78% households have access to, rural households have access to mobile phones. And about 39 million internet subscribers, many of them use mobile phones to access internet. The rapid proliferation of mobile phones provide an opportunity, we thought, to make DHS data collection more efficient. So we wanted to see whether this can be done at a quality that we are interested in and whether we actually save money make, to make the uh, argument uh, more like the efficiency argument. So the study was done in Chakuria, southeastern Bangladesh, where we run a large DHS uh, that covers about 7,700 um, households that are visited quarterly. And for our study, we actually um, used information from households that actually had a mobile phone. So at least one member has a mobile phone and in the household, then we selected those households. In the first quarter of DHS, a regular DHS, we randomly selected 1,915 households, and in quarter two, we, took, we randomly selected 880 households from all the uh, households that had mobile phones. And then for those households that we selected, we actually made calls to them two days after the actual HDSS visit 
So normally what happens, the health worker goes house to house and collects the information. And sometimes it's, you know, for, for a long time it was um, paper-based. We are now moving towards paperless data collection. But um, so they would collect information and they would come and enter the data. It would be cleaned. And then, uh, so that process went on. But for these selected households, we also made a call two days later to a designated phone number that we collected. Uh, we keep on updating it every quarter from uh, different households. And what we collected was information on birth, death, and migration. And the study took place in 2010. We are about to, uh, we are analyzing the data and we are about to publish. And in terms of data analysis, uh, we looked at the validity and reliability of collecting vital events through mobile phones, and we looked at sensitivity, specificity, and positive predictive values. And when we compared uh, mobile phone-based data collection with our vital registration system, the normal way of collecting it. So if, I, if you look at the respondents of to two different systems of data collection, you'd see that there is a little difference. So for males, we got more males in the cell phone uh, thing, and then 20 to 40 year olds, a little bit more. We got more not unmarried people uh, when we called. Um, we also got less housewives and less people with no education. So immediately you see a digital divide going on there compared to the normal. Um, and of course, you know, people who, at a household level, people have, when a household has one mobile phone, not everyone has, has it, has access to it uh, all, all day long. So when you're trying to collect data during business hours, chances are it's with a young male who is outside the household at that point. So you see this dynamics. It's important to understand in, in later results. Uh, to understand this for understanding the later results. <clears throat> Just to define sensitivity, specificity, and positive predictive value. Basically, sensitivity tells you how well cell phone method detects an event. So it could be death, it could be birth, it could be something else. Specificity detects how well a cell phone method detects a non-event, so if there's no death, say. And positive predictive value is positive predictive value is a proportion of event that was detected by cell phones by all events, which is basically from your gold standard, which is um, which is the house-to-house, -house, you know, visits. And this is really what we saw for death. Our cell phone method did quite well, and for birth as well. But when you look at in-migration, which means whether people, new people have moved into the area, and we want information about that, then it wasn't doing as well. And out-migration was slightly better. So these are some of, the, some of the things that we saw. When we looked at the cost of data collection, What's important to note here is the time needed. We saved a lot of time. We saved a lot of money. So then these are in Taka. Sorry, I didn't convert them into pounds or dollars, so you understand. But just, just imagine that this is, these are absolute numbers and nothing to do with. So if you look at that, we, we broke it down into salaries, transportation, printing, data management, and call charge. And we saved in most of these categories when we use cell phones. There were challenges. It was not all rosy. We, we had problems reaching the right respondents who could actually answer our questions. Young men going outside probably didn't know about people moving into their households or going out. You know, they, they, they didn't want to answer or they were not. And, and they were working outside. When we caught them during the day, they were not willing to talk to us. Call us later, after hours. This is a problem. So there was no verification. We, one person says something, you couldn't ask the person sitting next to him, is it really right? In a household, when you visit, you have other people talking, say, no, you're not right. You know, or, or your neighbor comes and you, they also, it's, it's really a collective conversation. 
Here you're just having a one-to-one -one conversation, and you can't really tell whether this is right or not. There's a frequent change of contact numbers, and 5% of our cell phones were unreachable. Um, because they have multiple SIMs and they use it for different purposes. And we, of, of course, we didn't reach those who did not have cell phones. Okay. So vital uh, event data can be reliably collected. Mobile phones use can reduce costs, and it's important to retain household visit for verification and for those who cannot be reached with phones. So this is just acknowledgement for ICDBRB and its core donors for supporting our research infrastructure. Thank you so much.